Hi everyone, on this channel I create videos packed with lots of great information. This is another video in a series I've created about using Microsoft Excel. So if you'd like to learn more about Excel, subscribe to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to highlight every other row in an Excel spreadsheet. This is an example. It looks a lot like a checkbook, but it's for a savings account. The alternating shaded rows make it somewhat easier to see the data. It's easier to distinguish one row from another. I want to make sure that every odd numbered row is shaded gray. So somehow I need to help Excel realize when a row is even numbered and when a row is odd numbered. I'm going to use the mod function. The mod function will compute how much is left over when you divide one number by another number. This matters because in the formula I will use, I will divide each row number by two. And as you'll see in a minute, a helpful trend will emerge such that all even numbered rows will divide by two evenly, so nothing or zero will be left over. But all odd numbered rows will have one left over. Take a look. This is the command that we're going to be using. And you can see that we have odd numbered rows like row number one and even numbered rows like row number two. And in fact, let's start right there. So I'm gonna type in my function name mod and I'm gonna tell it now to look for the row number. The way I tell it to do that is type in row, and then I'm gonna open up my parentheses and close my parentheses. It will then find the row number for the row that I am in. Then I'm gonna hit comma, and I'm gonna tell it what to divide that row number by, and I want it to divide by two. So keep in mind now what's gonna happen. It's gonna find that it's in row number two, it's gonna divide that by two, and when you divide two by two, nothing is left over. So when I hit enter, it should equal zero, and it does. And you'll see what happens on row number three when I type in mod and then I put in the information for it to find the row number and I tell it to divide that row number by two. Now it's gonna be finding row number three. It will divide that by two because three is not divided by two evenly. There's one left over. So when I hit enter, it should find the value of one. Well, if I copy that command down, you'll see that trend emerges such that all the even rows are evenly divided by two, so I find a zero, and all the odd numbered rows are not evenly divided by two, so I find a one. We're gonna use that trend to make this very easy for us to make it so that every other row is highlighted. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, now that you understand how the mod function works, let's use it to highlight or shade every other row. So here's what you need to do. Just go to your spreadsheet and select the entire thing. I like to select things very easily by hitting Control A. Now from the Home tab, go to Conditional Formatting. Select New Rule, and then select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. Now we're gonna enter in the formula that we've been working with. Equals mod, open up the parentheses, type in row, open up a parentheses, close the parentheses. It'll now look for the row number, put in a comma. It'll take that row number and divide by two. Now I wanna see, does that equal one? If that equals one, I must be in an odd numbered row. If I am indeed in an odd numbered row, Excel will now format that row the way I tell it. And I'm gonna click on format, and I'm gonna tell it to fill it with gray. So it's going to highlight or shade that row in the color gray. So now go ahead and click OK. Now click OK again. Now we can click somewhere on the spreadsheet to turn off the highlighting. And now you can see every other row in the spreadsheet is shaded gray. And this technique works really well because you can add rows. So I'm gonna come right over here. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say insert a row. And you can see all of the shading still stays the same such that all of the odd numbered rows are shaded gray and the even numbered rows remain white. You can use basic Excel functions to do some really cool and powerful things. So spend some time playing with Excel and check back with this channel because I'll be posting more Excel tutorials. If you found this video helpful, like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.